Hey everybody, Doug here from Old Fashioned Hot Rods. And uh, on this video, we are going to take apart the uh, 1929 Chrysler Hemi Roadster and do some work underneath the body and onto the frame. Um, there's a lot of stuff kind of underneath there that I didn't finish weld and some brackets we gotta make. So this video is mostly gonna be just me kind of taking this thing apart and uh, kind of going through it with you. Uh, I don't think it's some of my other videos, I probably didn't explain what I got going on for the frame, kind of parts I use and such. So I think what I'll do is I'll take the time for this video to do that while I'm taking it apart. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Okay, so the last video we worked on this hood. Um, I ended up ordering a bunch of leather straps and buckles so that I can make a, like a tie down for this thing, some straps. So we're just kind of waiting on that, but for the time being, uh, there's a lot of work I need to do kind of with the body, body off of the frame. So uh, I figured this would be a good time to maybe just do that, take it off the frame. Uh, I picked up a dolly from a buddy that I'm just going to modify a little bit so I can get the body of the Roadster to sit onto this and then that way we can get underneath it, do some welding, um, get to the frame, get some welding done on there. Like some of the brackets for instance, like I didn't finish weld all these and I want to. So there's stuff like that underneath here that I want to just finish welding. So we're going to do that. Um, the body itself it has bolted in to the frame right here. And I, I, don't, I can't even remember how many how many of these bolts I did, but what I did is I used one of those flange nuts and I welded them into the frame. It's kind of like that. And that's how I bolted, that's how I bolted the body to this frame. So there's a few of those that we needed to take off, running all the way down and onto the side. There's two on the sides and the, on the back rails there. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. We're gonna strip this sucker apart and I'm gonna be able to finish underneath the frame. The other thing I wanna do is I need to make, I need to make some rods and fix my transmission cross member down here onto the frame. I don't like it and the rods from the shifter are gonna interfere. So get this body off and I'll be able to do that as well while we're doing that. So. Let's uh, let's do it. First things first is I'm just gonna I'm gonna modify this frame a little bit, and then uh, and then we'll start stripping the bolts off of this bad boy, taking the hood off, taking the radiator off, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty. All right. So this frame dolly, uh, I just borrowed this from a buddy. Um, but I'm going to modify it. I think what I want to do is I want to remove this, this bar here and just put it inside the rails. And then that way I can put something either going this way or this way to figure out what I'm going to need to get this onto there. And like, I don't really need, I don't think I need to bolt it down. I'll just clamp it down. So it stays, we can move it around. Um, but first things first, yeah, I'm going to cut this sucker. I'm gonna cut this thing out and then get it squared up inside of here and we'll weld that quickly and then we will start taking apart this. All right, as you can see, I have the body off of the frame, but not on the dolly. So I took the uh, body off, no problem. Put it on the frame, no problem. But I didn't like the way it was sitting on here. It's pretty heavy and I realized I need to brace the legs a little better. I just didn't feel comfortable having that, all that work I did sitting on that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, 
run some cross braces from this corner to that corner, this corner to that corner on both sides, and then run a long piece from here to there and on the same side. Just for a little more support, um, like I said, I just didn't, uh, I didn't feel comfortable leaving that sitting on this. Like I say, that, that's a lot of weight and I didn't take the trunk lid off because I didn't want to mess up the gapping and I didn't take the dash or the windshield off because I was lazy. But uh, yeah, so I got, uh, I got it laid out here anyway. I moved the roadster into the one bay here so I can finish some welding. I'm gonna fix up uh, some rust patches right there. I'm gonna cut that out and fix that up. And then uh, I just gotta fill in some holes along the frame and uh, just double check and see what else needs to be welded on this frame. I gotta get rid of this really ugly transmission cross member that I built. One, it's kind of ugly. Two, it's in the way of my shifting rods. So we're gonna remake that. But uh, yeah, first thing is, uh, I'm gonna get back to this thing. I'm gonna cut some, Just I'm just gonna use some one by one uh, square tubing and just brace it up as best as I can. Maybe throw a few more welds on the ends. And then we'll try again and put that sucker back onto here. Okay, okay, we uh, definitely made it heavier. Um, basically, I just put a few cross braces from the corners to the top bar on all four sides. So that should definitely uh, secure it a little better. It uh, makes me feel better anyway. And uh, I just did a quick job cutting and welding quickly. Nothing fancy, but now it should uh, hold. And I also did it like this. I, was, I thought about putting a piece along the bottom, but then I realized it'd be nice to still be able to get a, like a lift. If you're using a lift to lift up the body so you can get the legs underneath. So I kind of kept those areas clear so hopefully it uh, works now, but uh, we're gonna try it. We're gonna lift back up the body and uh, put it on the dolly. Yeah, let's do it. All right, body is on the dolly and uh, I feel much better about how it's sitting on there now. Before it was, uh, I don't know, flexing a little bit, but Pretty solid now. I think the weakest link is probably the tires maybe. But uh, yeah, so it's sitting on here now. We are, uh, we're gonna leave it for the time being, sitting on here. And we are gonna focus on fixing this ugly ass transmission cross member thing that I got going on here. So I took out some of the bolts and just threw the, lifted up the transmission, put it on a little dolly there for, dolly stand there for a second. My plan is I'm gonna take this whole thing out. I'm gonna cut off these little piece of angle iron that I had welded on here. Remove them and start from scratch. Um, I gotta make room for my shifter rod, so essentially I'm gonna eliminate this whole bend thing I got going on here and try to just make a piece that comes straight across to the bottom of these braces that I have here. And I might not even use, that's like two inch rectangular tubing or something. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I think that's probably overkill. I'll probably just use either round rod, whatever I've got left over. Little piece of round rod, or uh, I've got some uh, one inch, one by one square tubing that I have. I've got some plate, steel plate. So we're just gonna make something that's uh, a little bit nicer and a little bit more convenient so that the next step I can make my shifting rods so that they're not gonna contact that 
transmission cross member. So let's apply next. Alrighty, I'm gonna show you uh, kind of what I got going on here. So I'm making transmission bracket and uh, I removed the big ugly one. I was in the way of everything and just looked kind of ugly and created a little more sleek down one. So this here itself will be the bracket and it's just one by one square tubing and I just welded a chunk of 3 16 plate onto it so that this part the transmission uh, mount section will will sit onto here and I can bolt through it and then I'm just I guess got a set of hockey pucks that I kind of just cut up and that's what I'll use as my damper or cushion or whatever so that'll go in between there and then on the ends I just took some regular angle iron and I'm going to weld this bracket to this angle iron on both ends and then that'll be my bracket and then on the outside here I have some 3 16 plate that I cut out and just bent and these pieces will mount to the framing on on my uh, frame here so one will go there and one will go in here somewhere and that's what we'll do and then we'll just bolt through so I'm hoping that works I kind of mocked it up a little bit and it uh, seemed to be in out of the way of everything including my shifting rods so that is basically what it's going to be so there's all the individual pieces so there's like I say it's just a flat piece of uh, square or one by one square tubing and then it will mount in, obviously with the, uh, with the hockey pucks in between, mount like that. And then on each end, it'll go and bolt into those brackets that I made. So get rid of that. And get rid of this one. And then these should just sit. I gotta do a little bit of trimming, but these will just sit in here somewhere. So when I when I mount it up and figure out where it's gotta be, I'll just weld these to here. And that'll be my one piece bracket. I might do some trimming off the tops or whatever. And then these guys, like I say, this is just 3 16th plate that I ended up cutting out and just bending because I didn't have anything thick enough any angle iron thick enough so I had to make them and again these will get trimmed up too and they will just get welded somewhere somewhere along there wherever it lines up with the uh, mount so that's what we're gonna do next here is I'm just going to I'm gonna do some trimming off these ends a little bit and then we're going to bolt these two things together and we're just going to kind of put it in place and see where it fits. So next time we pop up here, I'll hopefully have that thing in here, just kind of set in place and good to go. All right. I've got uh, brackets kind of clamped in there. I've got my transmission lined up in the center. I've got uh, my angle three degrees pointing downward angle and we've got some big problems that bar is in the way this one right here so I don't know what uh, I don't know what I did last time where I measured from obviously I did it wrong but uh, we've got to notch out, notch out a section here so that uh, my drive shaft will not hit. I mean, I'd, it'd be super close, I guess, but I'm pretty sure it's going to hit, but I want some clearance. And 
I had put some uh, flange nuts in there to bolt to the body, which uh, are these ones. So it's not a huge deal, but I think what I'm gonna do is have to cut I think what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna cut this out. I'm just gonna cut it out flush here and just make a nice rounded piece to go up like this. And uh, then if I have to cut out this section later on and just move this bar up or down, no big deal. Live and learn, I guess that's why, uh, I guess that's why you uh, always measure a hundred times before you cut, but uh, whatever, it is what it is. Me For me, it's just learning. Um, but uh, back to the transmission mount. I am going to weld this to this bracket here and this to my framing. And then, I mean, later on, if I have to move this thing up and down a little bit, I have enough space in here that it can come down and up a good inch or so. Um, yeah, but like I said, this needs to be addressed for sure. But uh, as of right now, I've got perfectly three degrees right on my uh, yoke. So we will uh, we'll weld it, weld these in place here. I think I'll just tack them <laughs> in case I gotta move them again or something. But uh, it should be okay. That's coming along slowly. So a while ago, at my uh, local metal shop there, I just went there and I just took some rectangular tubing. I bought some rectangular tubing. This is two inch by one inch. And I just got them to basically uh, coil it for me and then what I do with these pieces is I usually just keep them around until I need some kind of funky curve or bend or something and I just cut chunks off of them so I did that with uh, the two inch by one inch rectangular tubing and I've also done that with uh, just some one by one that way I just have a few pieces on hand and like I say just cut them when you need them so that being said, I've taken out a small chunk of it and made a few uh, slits in here and just gave it a little bit more of a bend and kind of mocked up my new uh, cross brace there on my frame. So that is what I'm going to use now and then that way I've got a little bit more room here for my uh, my yoke and my transmission and my drive shaft. So I'm just gonna cut this out, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this big hunking piece out of here, right out, and I'm just going to put the smaller, smaller tubing in here in place of it. And that way we got, uh, we got a bit more room, so it should be Fairly easy, I think. You just gotta cut on the ends here, cut it out, cut these off, and I'll reuse these. And then we'll just line this sucker up right where it needs to be, weld her back in. So that's the uh, that's what I'm gonna do next here. First, I'm just gonna I wanna finish welding these uh, little slits here. And I basically just made these just to get a little bit more more of a, of an arc. That's what we're gonna do next, and then we'll uh, we'll cut that piece out. I'll have this piece all tacked in. Cut this piece out. Get our final measurements. Put this piece in, and uh, weld it back in. And like these, I had these in here for the floor piece on the body. So when we put the body back on, we'll just have to line those back up, make some holes and uh, figure that out, but I've got to, uh, I gotta cut a few pieces out of there anyways, on the floor, to match up what I'm doing here, so. No biggie, let's get at her. 
Yeah, so we got the uh, got that piece in, and uh, yeah, way more clearance now. Thought it just got attacked back in. We'll uh, do some final welding here right away, but that's uh, pretty much what it's gonna look like. So we got lots of room, like I got a good, I think a good, I mean, maybe not, might not show it on the camera, but from about here to the top there, we got a good four inches. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish welding. It's gonna finish welding this brace and I'm gonna finish welding uh, my uh, transmission bracket here that I tacked in as well. And then we'll move on to the next thing, which I think will be making the shifter rods. Okay. I uh, finished welding what I needed to. And I put the uh, bracket back in there, bolted it in. And uh, I think we're sitting pretty now. Lots of room. Looks a little cleaner down here, so we can work on our uh, rods, shifting rods. Yeah, all right. Let's call that good, I hope. <laughs> Gotta fix our change later on, I guess we'll do that, but. That's it for now on this one. Just kind of a look from this angle of where uh, where my drive shaft is gonna sit. It's pretty much right in line, so say we got lots of room. Oh yeah, and for those that were wondering, I haven't really talked much about it because when I started doing my YouTube channel, I think I was pretty much halfway into this car already. So the rear end is a Ford nine inch out of a like a 70-ish Ford pickup truck. It's got 389 gears in it, and it's got the five by 5.5 uh, bolt pattern. And the suspension, I'm running a triangulated four link. And I got that from Horton Hot Rods or Welder Series out of Ontario. And it's got the coil overs in the back so I can adjust it. It was pretty, uh, pretty straightforward install. I'm hoping I got it uh, lined up nice. Um, I, I, and I did level it, so it's a level across there and it's a level across here. But again, like it'll have to pivot a little bit and then I could suck it in if, if, my, if I have to move, uh, move my transmission or my rear end in, but I shouldn't. Shouldn't have to move it. I might have to move it down a bit or up a bit so I can adjust it for there when I do my drive shaft. But when I set it, I set that as a three degree up and I set my transmission as a three degree down. So in theory, I'm hoping it works. Um, this truck rear end though is off center by about two inches this way. So my drive shaft will be going Kind of that way a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, the trucks ran it like that, right? But yeah, that's just one one part of it. I'll talk about another part maybe, maybe another time. But uh, I think uh, I think we'll call her call her day for this video. Um, next one, I think we're gonna do some shifter shifter rods. We got to make those, and I also. Uh, Got a package in the mail. Some Headman uh, header kits. So we're gonna maybe start working on the exhaust too. Just a generic header kit. Yeah, piece it together. We'll go over it uh, when I get there. But uh, yeah, we'll call that uh, We'll call that good for now. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the videos. Please like and subscribe. 
Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching uh, Old Fashioned Hot Rods.